Shabbat Shalom. The Gemara Masech Hagiga says that there was a rabbi named Elisha ben Nevuya. And he was known as Acher. So he went off the derech. He was a big time of Chacham. And he went off the derech. He was Mayor Balanes' Rebbe. And when he died, so heaven wanted to leave his soul hovering in this world and suffering. Not to even go to Gainom. He, on the one hand, he couldn't be punished again no, because he studied Torah. On the other hand, he can't go to Ganede because he did sins. So his student, the great Mayor Balanes, refused to accept this heaven decree. And what did he do? He wanted his Rebbe to have the privilege to go to Gainom. You hear this? To have the privilege to go to Gainom. So what did he do? So the Ramban says in Shara Gamul, the Ramban has a whole uh, work on the, in the workings of Gainam. So he says over there that the coldest fire in Gainom is 60 times as hot as the hottest fire in this world. And in other words, if you imagine 60 times the heat of the sun, that will give us the coldest heat, heat in uh, Gainom. The Ramban adds that a lifetime of suffering of Iyov, he lost his business, he lost his health, he lost every single member of his family. All that suffering does not come close to the suffering of a single moment in Gainom. But he lost his son's daughter, he lost his health, okay, fine. And then what? It was worthwhile to suffer 70 years of this life than to suffer one moment in Gainam. And Remer wanted Acher to have the privilege of go to Gainam. Why? Because Gainam purifies the person, removes the blemishes from his soul, like dry cleaning removes the stains, and it's painful. But he gets to go to Gan Eden and appreciate. Once you remove those blemishes, you'll be able to have the ability to enjoy and benefit from this, the godliness of Hashem in Gan Eden. So Remer took upon himself this, and what did he do? He, he he prayed for him, and he made it that he was able to have. Uh, he saw smoke coming out of Acher's uh, grave, and he, that's a sign that he went to Gainam. He was already starting to burn right over there in the, the smoke. From we see how how much of a zechut it is to be able to go to Gainam, to go to Gan Eden. How much we have to sacrifice for it, and a person has to know that it's worthwhile your whole life being going through whatever we go through in this world to be able to go to Gan Eden. But we have to realize that uh, what does it take? To get into Gan Eden. Some of us, we think, we pray every day, work honestly for our livelihood, we don't commit violent crimes, so why shouldn't we get in? Well, what's the big deal? So the Rav again says that there were, he heard two people arguing. He says, one said, I for sure have a front row in Gan Eden. And the other guy said, no, you're not closer than the third row. The person has to know that Gan Eden is not a stadium or an arena. It's not so easy to get in Gan Eden. Some people have to work seven years to be able to get into Gan Eden. The Gemara, uh, the Gan Eden, I'm sorry. The Gemara Sechetanit says, Rabbi Baroka wanted to meet, uh, he, he usually met uh, Eliyahu Navi, and uh, Eliyahu Navi would come when he was learning Torah. But one day, Eliyahu Navi came to him while he, he was in the bazaar, while he was in the Mashuk. So he asked uh, Eliyahu Navi, what's, uh, what's, what, what's, uh, what does a Jew, what's the chud does a Jew need to have the Ben Olam Abba, to go in the Olam Abba, the Gan Eden. Show me over here, who's the Ben Olam Abba? So he said, oh, you see those two guys over there? So uh, you, you, you were thinking, Rabbi Baroka's uh, time, you know, there was big Sadiqim and everyone was very righteous. And yet, he tells him a very surprising answer. He says, you see those two guys over there? And they're Ben Olam Abba. He says, well, what's, what's, the, what's the Ben Olam Abba that they have? He says that the, the Niyanovi said, the Jews who were around that time, the, the, they're not all Ben Olam Abba. Those two guys who make people laugh and people happy, this is what the, they, 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 they get as a Chut Olam Abba. It's meaning to say, that we would think that what, that everybody is religious and everyone's doing misfot, they all been all about. No, that the fact that he had to point out these specific individuals who had a special zechut, they're considered the ones who have been all about. So you see, it's not so simple that the person will assume and get all about. So they had to ask a question, you know, and to wonder who is a ben all about. So uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not something that comes automatically. But nonetheless, the... The, the Shevet Musa writes in the great book of Musa, he says, he heard fools saying, oh, we are guaranteed Olam Abba because we pray morning, afternoon, evening, we work all day, we don't harm anybody, do we kill, do we steal, no, but nothing, no, nobody. So therefore, they assure themselves that they're going to Olam Abba, therefore they don't study Torah or pursue mitzvot. They honor Torah scholars only outwardly, they only help the poor when they're pressured to do so. And I say to them, true, you are doing mitzvot, but these are not sufficient to perfect your soul, to make you fit to have Gan Eden. So therefore, a person has to realize that Hashem knows what you could do, and Hashem expects for you to do it. And if a person thinks that, oh, as long as outwardly people see me as a Sadiq, that's good enough. A person has to know, according to the capabilities, 
The, the, the Bali Musa say, Hashem will take the giants of your generation and say, why weren't you like him? See, he lived in your generation. He had the same Yitzhar as you. They're not going to say, why weren't you like Moshe Rabbeinu? They're going to say, why weren't you like Chaim Kiyamsky? Or why weren't you like uh, the Yanuka? Why weren't you like these great Sadiqim in our generation? Look, they're able to do it. Or at least in, you, where, in your country where they live, look at this great Rav who lived next to you. Why are you not like him? He was able to do it. You could do it also. So if a person has to know that it's not enough that you think you're doing enough. You have to be really doing what you could be doing. As the Gemara Sech Batra says, Rav Yosef, the son of Yeshua ben Levi, and it appeared to him that he died. He had a, he had a, he had a what's called a, a temporary death. So what happened? Preparation was made for the funeral. And then all of a sudden he opened his eyes. He returned to life. And what did they ask him? They asked him, were you in Gan Eden? He said, yes. And what did you see? He said, Olam afukhraiti. He says, I see an upside down world. Those who were on here on top of the pedestal in this world were nobody over there, bottom. And people who were unimportant here, they were the biggest sadiqim, the highest of the high over there. You had, you had to have a zuchut to be able to see them. You don't even have the zuchut to see them. So he says, you see that this world is a world of falsehood. All on the shikra. This they give big kavod. Oh, you're the pillar of our community. You give so much sadaqah. Oh, you're such a big sadiq. You make siyum, you make this, you make that. Person has to know that this big kavod you get here could be in Olam Abba, he'll be nobody. And the guy who was on the corner, quiet, does, everybody doesn't listen to him. Everybody says, Oh, what does he do already? What, who are you already? Why, 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 why do we have to listen to you? And what? He ends up being the biggest guy over there and he's on the highest pedestal in Gan Eden. So, therefore, a person has to be careful not to be like the old lady who doesn't know how to read or write and she likes to go through the newspaper. And what does she see? She looks at the pictures. And she thinks through the pictures she'll understand. And what? They told her, listen, lady, you're holding the newspaper upside down. You're reading it the wrong way. The person could think he knows life. I see everything in front of me. But this world is upside down world. It's Alma de Shikra. And therefore what? It's interesting, when Mayor Balanes, he prayed, he asked the students to bury him upside down. He, he asked them, pray, bury me head down, feet mm-hmm. up. And really that's how we are. Because really our neshama, shorish neshama is in shamayim. And our, on our extension of our neshama is in this world. And then whenever you don't, you lose your connection to your shorish neshama over there, it's karet. You get cut off from your source and then person has shalom doesn't get olam abba. But the point is that really we have to be people from olam abba coming into this world, not this world trying to go to olam abba. We have to realize our source is there. And therefore, uh, that, that's, we should be going by what our picture shows there, not what our picture shows over here. So therefore, Rav Yosef said, I heard them proclaiming another thing when I was there. He said, another thing I heard over there was, they said, Ashrei Aish, right? Happy is the one who comes here with a Torah study in his hand. So every person can come with Torah Zuchut over there. Gemara, Mishnah, so it takes, even the ladies, they can take Tehidim, or they, they send their husbands to learn. Many times the husbands come home. Again, you go to Shul. Again, you go learn Torah. Again, you have to go Havruta. Yes, because we have to realize that one of the three things that are acquired through suffering is Olam Abba. Olam Abba, Eretz Israel. And um, and the uh, and the uh, and the uh, what's it called the the Olam Abba, Eretz Yisrael, and one more thing gets acquired through Olam Abba through suffering, and one of them is Olam Abba. So a person has to make sure that he he he, he puts an investment because you think you could be complacent, easy ride. Has to show we don't want to get a rude awakening, and therefore when we go there, we'll sit with the crowns on their head and the mask and the radiance of the Shechina. If you don't do the effort here, how can you enjoy over there? People think you enjoy over here. And they'll try to make the effort later, and it's too late. It's too late. How many people we see? Haza shalom. This their loved ones get sick. Haza shalom. They lose parnasa. Haza shalom. All these situations, and then they start. Oh, we gotta make an effort. We gotta before you get to that situation, make the effort now. Bezat Hashem. Baruch Nayonam.